I've got a pretty good history of I say what I mean and do what I say. And so, yeah, that's the one thing. When you do this job long enough and you can communi uh, communicate properly and consistently and you stay on message, I think that, you know, that reinforces that, you know, it's for efficiency purposes for all parties involved, what we are willing to do and what we're not willing to do. I think uh, that's, I would think, helpful guidance in, in the process for all parties involved. Gosh, how much with the other teams, what they're doing, could have an effect on you? The Astros, the Twins, these are teams that are kind of looking for some of the same pieces you guys are. Is there a comp you look at that as competition or, of course. Is, or is things to keep, you know, keep away from them? No, I, there's no keep away. It just comes down to, you know, you match up, you don't. Uh, you're willing to pay a certain price or you, you aren't. Uh, and if you aren't, you have to have good reasons for it and uh, and be you know comfortable in your own skin because of it. And so, um, but fully expect, obviously, a number of the teams that are competing for postseason berth as well as beyond that, you know, to, to do everything in their power also to improve like we're trying. Uh, and some, you know, will have more success at it than others. And we'd like to be in that some category rather than the other category. But, but again, we... We've done a lot of work to get ourselves here already. We have a lot of depth, some of which is coming back from the disabled list at some point. So we have that as as a safety net. But uh, it's not precluding me to obviously be very busy on the phones to see if I match up regardless. Kevin, how much are you uh, looking at the area of pitching? I'm looking at pitching, both rotation and, and pen. You know, uh, I don't see really much, if anything, on the position player side to be dealing with. So our, our main focus is pitching and seeing if there are any matches on the pitching front. Is there a concern about burnout on the bullpen side on because the starters, even the starters are pitching well, they have been a tremendous win. There's always those concerns, and you know I think Booney and, and our staff have done a great job of managing through that throughout the entire year. Um, so we've utilized that, that shuttle with Scranton many times, and players, whether it's can't, can't, uh, well, what's the right word here? I can't um, stress, I guess. You know the valuable contributions of people like David Hale or Sessa or Nestor Cortez or, or obviously Tarpley, who we flew in here, you know, last second, utilized. I think he went through 48 pitches or so, and then obviously he's out. But you know, those are you know Chance Adams amongst others, and those things are very important to you know uh, they, they play a role in this long season too that uh, that protect others and in some cases help us win games regardless like Nestor Cortez I think he's 4-0 or something like that so uh, but um, but yeah it's always a worry and we're always trying to manage through it and deal with it like every club so it's the same worry everywhere that's why you try to get as many as you possibly can that's why this winter we did as much work as we could with the additions you know again was Adovino a necessity or was he a luxury we felt he was kind of fit both you know he was hoping he, the plan was for him to be kind of bookending with with Dallin, that hasn't worked out, so he obviously was insurance the event of injuries. You know, that's the way it's played out, but it would be nice to have them both at the same time, but I think there's optimism that we still will have that at the same time as we move forward. Hopefully we'll be in a position to deploy that, you know, at its full effect at some point, but uh, you know, we're going to continue to look, whether it's pen or rotation, and, and if we can, great, and if we, we can't, then we're, we'll go with what we got.